This is your sign to use clip-ins to do a half a pat down. Let's do a full 360. If there was one hairstyle that I could wear for the rest, okay, the rest of my life, it would be clip-ins. Seamless clip-ins to be exact. I'm gonna be doing a half a pat down. One of my favorite hairstyles. I love clip-ins. They're so easy to install. They're so easy to switch it up. We have these clip-ins. They are dyed jet black. Your bundles, the clip-ins, your extensions should always match your row hair. So color them if they need to be colored. Which brings me back to my next point. Invest in great clip-ins because with amazing clip-ins that are great quality, you can dye them, you can curl them. They will actually hold the curl. You can crimp them. You can do so much to them if they are actually good quality clip-ins. So I actually prefer seamless clip-ins over the traditional clip-ins because I feel like they lay flatter on the scalp, they feel a little bit more fuller at the root. They actually don't hurt as bad as the regular clip-ins in my opinion. The reason why they're on a hanger is because I did wash them and had them air drying but I do like to use two packs because girl if you want your hair to be really full and just look like a sewing without it being a sewing you're gonna want two packs unless you already have a lot of hair and you just want to add in volume. I want to add in volume and I also want to add in length. So my hair is freshly blow dried. I've just washed it. I am going to just put some oil on my hair because I feel like my hair is just <sighs> it's giving dry. We have Olaplex. I love using this oil. But it's not so oily. You don't want to put too much oil on your hair, but you want to put enough really moisturize that in there you guys i got box braids last summer and they basically pulled out my edges and it has not grown back so if you have any hair growth methods or tips please let me know because i'm this close to going to turkey if you know you know just gonna part out the section of hair that we want to leave out in the back i like to start at the tip of the air and make my way up and then we're gonna just do a straight line going all the way across section this part off for now the way i'm doing my clip-ins this way is really for people who don't want to put too much heat on their hair so we're gonna do like a faux type of sewing type of thing meaning i'm gonna there's still some braids involved or if you you know what let's make this video braidless let's make it braidless because there are some girls out there who just can't braid so this video is going to be braidless if you want to know how to install your clip-ins <laughs> with this being a half a half down this is going to be the part that you know, obviously it's gonna be the ponytail. You do wanna leave out a little bit of hair for the leave out so that it covers the wet or covers the clip-ins. Eh, you don't have to scoop, don't scoop out right here because what's gonna happen is when the hair is hanging, this short piece is gonna be right here. If your hair is shorter than mine, it's gonna sh stand out more. So I like to leave, start my leave out for like right here. And you don't have to leave out too much, but don't leave out too thin. The band of your clip-ins might show if you make it a little bit too thin. So this is the ponytail, this is the leave out. All right, so for this part, let's just braid it and put it away. Flat twist. We're gonna put the back into a ponytail. Now, for my girls that have a lot of hair, you're not gonna put that into a bun. Okay, that is gonna be ridiculous. Do not put your hair into a bun. It's just gonna have a big bump back here and you don't really want that. I'm gonna get a hairpin. Use the hairpins to hold this up. Now that that's done, the next thing that I'm gonna do is start clipping in my clip-ins. Again, like I said, I have two packs. I want back here to be very weighted. I want it to be full. I want it to look like I have a lot of hair going on back there. Got my flat iron. This flat iron is from T3. It is one of my favorites. I don't really know how to use it, so it's stuck on one setting. <laughs> and that setting seems to be enough for me. But it does get pretty hot. I know you hold it down. See, I don't know how to make it get hotter. There are 14 pieces in this clip-in set. Okay, so these are the clip-ins. And, and the hair on this is so good, guys. Like, it's so soft and smooth and, ugh, I love it. Um, I like to flat iron my things first. <laughs> Now we're gonna go ahead and clip it in. So we're just gonna stick this in. And then you just keep going. Let's speed this part up.
into these areas, if you can, try to start angling them to where it's kind of like that. There is gonna be a little bend, so we're gonna have to unclip that one. So it's going like this. And it's actually flat. So once you put the next one on, you won't see if there's any, you know, imperfections or anything. Okay, and then the leave out that we had. We're gonna flat iron the leave out that we had. Let me get some heat protectant, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna be using Living Proof Heat Styling Spray. That blends in so good. Guys, just look at that. This is the side that has... Okay, let's finish. All right, so for the top of my hair, we need to flat iron that. So we're going to go ahead and just flat iron that now before we put in the wet. So I'm going to speed this part up. straightened out <laughs> a little crazy so the way we do this is comb all of this forward and then we're gonna make a line going this way take our clip in go ahead and fly in that so it should be like this and then for more fullness, we can make another thin. Okay, and we're gonna add one more three clipper. So let me go ahead and straighten that. brush this back now let's just grab all that hair okay so i'm just gonna start smoothing it up and then we got the edge booster use a little bit of this don't don't overdo it <laughs> like because it can get a little bit oily but it does hold and it is firm so we just wanted to have a nice slick finish gotta do it over because if you can see my ponytail is like more on this side and that is gonna drive me nuts so but it looks pretty good so far I'm just gonna go ahead and make those little changes off camera because I will be here forever so far so good and then you see my real hair sticking up <laughs> that's gonna drive me crazy but so we're gonna just gonna take majority of that and actually wrap it around the base of the ponytail and then we're gonna hairpin that so it stays okay so this would be the time to do so now i'm gonna go ahead and curl it because i want like you know a little bit more going on
right, so we're gonna use Colorel, my favorite. Why am I shaking it? I don't know why I keep shaking stuff, but this is gonna make give me some volume, so hold it out. Yeah, this gives you like big hair, like, can't breathe. But this gives you big hair, so if you hold your hair out, you can kind of control how much you want it to like really stand out. And it will stay. This is the final look with the clip-ins. I do want to go ahead and change my shirt. Oh, by the way, the curler nine is from EAP Heat, and that's what I use to curl my clip-ins. And I think this is like the one inch barrel, maybe 1.5, I'm not sure. Yes, this is your sign to actually use clip-ins to do a half a pat down. My God, I love it. It looks so good. Let's do a full 360. Okay, so this is how the back looks for. And then this is how the side looks. And we're back to the front. Absolutely, this is why I love, so this is one of the reasons why I just love clipping. I was able to transform my whole look in a short amount of time without having to do any glue, not putting too much heat on my hair. I do have a hair collection. Um, we have not launched yet, so when we do launch, these clip-ins will be available for purchase. You can pre-order them, but absolutely love the way these clip-ins just feel, look, and just transforms my hair in just a matter of seconds. So 